It's time for the newlywed game. More silver anniversary moments on love and laughter. And here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. You know, back in, in the mid-60s, I was a disc jockey at radio station KRLA in Los Angeles. And any morning you could turn on the radio and you could hear me there, and I was doing my disc jockey thing. I'd do things like, you know, 70 minutes after 9 from KRLA on Bob Eubanks. Anyway, so one day, I, I got this call from a television producer named Chuck Barris. He said, that, you know, he's the same guy who did the gong show. He said, I want to see you. I want to talk to you. So I went and I met Chuck, and I did my regular disc jockey. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. 70 minutes after 9, 64 degrees of Los Angeles, the Beatles. Anyway, he said, no, 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 Bob. He said, I don't want you to do any of that disc jockey stuff. He said, I want you to be a game show host. He said, I want you to be the wizard of Whoopi. I want you to be the mogul of marriage. I want you to be the ringmaster of romance. Before I knew it, I was in Sarasota, Florida, working for Ringling Brothers. <laughs> but I knew that I wanted to be a game show host, and I wanted to host the newlywed game. Well, I got to tell you, I was so frightened and so scared. This is a true story. After the first show, Chuck Barris came to me and he said, Bob, you just went a half hour without blinking. So I had to write myself a note. I put it on the podium and I said, we'll be back with more of the newlywed game. Right after these messages. <laughs> anyway, since then, throughout all these years, I've learned to blink. I've learned to talk a little more slowly. And I can certainly say, here's our first classic moment from the newlywed game. Ladies, question number one. Do you prefer the sound of your new last name or your old last name? My first name, my maiden name. You prefer the sound of your of your old last name? Yeah. <laughs> what was your old last name? Palala. Pardon me? Palala. Palala? Mm -hmm. well, that's pretty. You Same. prefer that to Ostrowski? Yes. <laughs> It's, it's a good Polish name. It Polish is right. It's a good Polish name. It means help me. There's a hog in our kitchen. His mother is not Polish. Tells him. It's a good name. Yeah, that, that's what Ostrowski means. There's a hog in your kitchen. Well, actually, it means shark, but they're not really positive about that. <laughs> she said, "You are the clumsiest son gun in the world in the bedroom." <laughs> She says, you are clumsy in the bedroom. It's no wonder she goes to sleep. She needs to sleep before I can get in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, she... <laughs> she told you about the dog? It was an accident. No, no, no. No, see, what happened was, I didn't want nobody to see the dog dude on the floor. See, I picked up and put it in my pocket. No, see, Boy, he is clumsy in the bedroom, isn't he? You don't want yourself, Daryl. Where do you work, Daryl? I'm a Marine. Oh! Well, the only thing I can think of is uh, a while back I had a rubber spider and I put it in the shower. You put a rubber spider in the shower? She hates spiders. What happened? She came running back out. This was before we were married. <laughs> say you guys is because in our studio audience we have a lot of newlyweds that have returned to join us on our 25th anniversary here. We welcome all of them here. By the way, where's Jim Lowe? Jim, where are you? That Jim right there. Jim, I remember when you were on the show, you wore a brown and, and white check jacket. It looked like, I put it on my horses, is what it looked like. Yeah. I mean, did the whole band get those suckers or just the leader? No. Just the no, no more jokes about the jacket. In fact, uh, you won't need any more jokes when you see it. The jacket and a little conversation we had about who paid for what during their wedding. What's this? Most of it came from my dad. But we spent half of that. His half and my half. And then he spent about another two. About five. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. All right. He said that he contributed 
Three hundred dollars to your way. There's no way I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars for booze. You spent two hundred and fifty and half of what I have is two hundred and fifty, that's fine. Leave that, your father out of it. No, the five hundred dollars. The five hundred was given to us, and then we spent it for the wedding. Don't you remember? I spent three hundred dollars. I believe you. Uh, we were pretty sharp dressers. There's no doubt about it. We Not were sharp dressers. Anymore. Not anymore. No, I noticed that. <laughs> Speaking of sharp, here's Anthony Sharp with his wife Glenda Joy as they prepared uh, on the Newlywed Game back in 1977. What is your wife's one erogenous zone that you have never discovered, Anthony? Yes. Did I wake you? Oh, no, no, I was thinking. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I would have to say uh, her back. Her back? Yeah, because, you know, um, I mean, I, I, I'm always, you know, underneath her, but I, my eyes can't go around and see, you know, or I just, you know, my finger might even just, I feel like just, you know, her back. Just, yeah, right, I thought that was your answer. She said it would be uh, her thighs. What? So I said one day, I said, why don't you guys just ask for a definition of a word? And I knew that we had really hit a vein when I asked, what's your husband's favorite rodent? And the girl said, it's saxophone. And, and then I said, well, what's your fa husband's favorite a condiment? And she said, it's karate school. <laughs> Truly happened. But then, I'm not even going to begin to tell you what happened when I said, when's the last time your husband masticated? <laughs> Here's some more play on words. How many digits have you got? Uh, three. Really? Three digits? <laughs> Your wife said that you only have one digit. Oh, wow. I didn't even know what the... I didn't 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 know what the... Where do you think his digit is? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking something nasty. No, no, no. <laughs> Be specific, please. His shoes, because the soles came off. His <laughs> shoes. Listen, we don't want to have any kids. Uh -huh. So, if I want some up, we commemorate each other. There was a lot of the newlyweds who got mixed up. I mean, their pontifications and machinations sometimes totally befuddled me, too. From what I can tell, all the women my husband dated before me had one thing in common. They, what? Be specific, Stuart. They were slightly on the uh, Rubenesque side. <laughs> Rubenesque? <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, Zotnik. Rubenesque and Zotnik. It's the first intelligent contestant I've met on this show in 20 years. And I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> oh, fat, fat, fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, of all the years I did this show, 
And many people ask me, who was your all-time favorite contestant? Well, there have been so many wonderful contestants, so it's difficult to choose a favorite. But well, one lady comes to my mind. And uh, I had more fun with this contestant in 30 minutes, I think, than I've ever had with any contestant. And, and that's her right there. Her name is Kathy. Now, I don't know where she is today, and I really don't want to know because I don't want to see her 30 years later uh, because maybe she won't be as innocent as she was then. Oh, I, I only want to remember her as she is, and she established new dimensions in dementia when I asked her whether her husband was urban or rural. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> well, you know him. Uh, now you married him. What do you think? Uh, Heck, he's urban. He's urban? Yeah. How long has he been that way? <laughs> About two months. Two months he's been that way. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, you think there's anything he can do about it? He went to a doctor. Oh, he did? This young man is Jeffrey Jocelyn. Jeffrey, how are you? Nice to see you here. Nice to see you, Bob. Uh, may I call you Bob? You can call me anything you want. I just don't care. Just spell it right. That's all I ask. Yeah. Your parents were on the show, what, in 1972? Um, I believe I'm not that familiar. You were just a gleam in their eye at the time. Now, when they appeared on this show, if I remember correctly, your dad revealed a little secret about your mom. Are you going to want to see this? I don't think so. Well, <laughs> turn over there and take a look. Gentlemen, what exactly was the last physical thing you were doing the last time your wife surprised you unexpectedly. Dave? It'd have to be taking a shower because she's forever coming up and grabbing through the shower curtain. <laughs> she does? <laughs> it's rather cool. That's your mom and dad. You've never seen that before, have you? <laughs> no. Are my friends going to see that? No, 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 they don't. You stay right here. I want to talk to your mom and dad. <laughs> uh, you all right? I still want to know. Do you still grab things through the shower? Once in a while. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> At least they're still alive. You know what I mean? Let me ask you a question, Jeff. Uh, how long do you think that you should date a girl before things get, you know, really r romantic? My parents are still here. That doesn't matter. Right? No, it, it, uh, listen, don't worry about that because uh, let me tell you what I asked your mother. I asked your mother a question similar to that and uh, take a look at what happens. Oh, he was, uh, uh, let's see, before I would. Uh, for how long? For, for how, he knew for you for? Um, he knew me for one week before one week. I would. Uh, <laughs> before I would give in. <laughs> They appeared on the show in 1986. Now, Sandy was only 17, newly married, just out of high school. And she was one of the, the sweetest, most innocent newlyweds that I ever interviewed. And here, with a little help from some of our other newlywed couples, is a conversation that I had with Sandy about love. If you knew before you got married what you know now about being married, will your husband say you would have gotten married sooner, gotten married later, or had second thoughts about the whole thing? No, it'd have to be later. Why? Well, because we got I got married right after high school. Oh. Which I don't regret because I loved him. Oh, man, a dog. <laughs> Does he pout? Um, yeah, a little bit. Does he throw tantrums? No, never. No. Okay, good. Only when I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when do you hit him? When he makes me mad. <laughs> All right, she said... Jimmy, last night. Is he sexy? 
Oh, he is so sexy. Would you call him a real Don Juan? You bet, the real and the only. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, he eats real, real good. The to embarrass anybody on the Millie Way Game. <laughs> I did like to stir the pot a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, like encourage the spirited discussions. What? How did your wife complete this sentence? She said, my husband's face is okay, but I just wish he would, he could trade bodies with who? With uh, Juan Gabriel. I oh my God! <laughs> when the Queen of Rumble takes issue with the answers given by her husband, the King of Humble. If your husband's last girlfriend called him on the phone and said, meet me, you know where. Now, where would he go to meet? <laughs> if he meets anybody. <laughs> where would he meet her? It better be at the house. At whose house? Mine. I want oh, at to your see house. What, I want to see what it's going to be about. Uh, Philip said that he would meet he would meet this girl at a motel. What motel? <laughs> what motel? <laughs> what motel? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. It, uh, 
in gallop. In gallop. She said that it walked. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back, everybody. Hey, let me ask a question to all of our returning newlyweds. Do you remember what you won on the show? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you want on the show? We want the television set and the living room couch. Do you still have it? We still have it. Yeah. 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 What do you want? Two recliner chairs and a 25-inch Panasonic color TV. And you still have it? Yes, I do. Isn't that fun? I mean, we gave away so many wonderful prizes on the show. Now, in order to win those prizes, though, our newlyweds usually had to reveal a few little secrets. <laughs> Elizabeth said the last wimpy thing you did is that uh, you wouldn't kill a bug either. Don't talk to me, John. Do you ask me to help you? Cat. Oh, well, you know, it's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth said that the, now I see insults your behind. You have a great big behind. Everybody insults that, so. Carol has marital problems. Oh, my God. <laughs> of you, many of the couples on our show were pretty young and innocent when they got married, but that wasn't always the case. From time to time, we met wonderful couples who became newlyweds later in life. They were wiser, more experienced, more mature, more sophisticated, and what is for sure always, they always tried to put their best foot forward. I was born with six toes, and the doctor cut the wrong toe off. <laughs>
history of the newlywed game. You know, I don't think I ever met a newlywed couple who wasn't interested in scoring. I'm, I'm talking about points, okay? <laughs> but no matter how hard they tried, some husbands just couldn't get in. Points. <laughs> Stop that. Which, of course, created a lot of frustration. Where will your husband say was the weirdest place he's ever been naked as a jaybird? Well... The weirdest place? At a park. At a park? What were we doing in the park? We were inside my truck. <laughs> she doesn't know you're fooling around at the park when he was naked as a jaybird. No. How long ago was this, Charles? Well... A couple months ago. Oh, good. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Bad she answer. said that you were in the living room. Oh. She said that you would only eat less. Eat less? <laughs> in the refrigerator before you kiss me. You fall asleep after the beauty wet game. He said, you always say he bought for you? What? He bought you dead roses. Oh, I don't like roses, but I just thought they were dead. <laughs> He's cheap. He is he's cheap. So cheap, yeah. Cheap? You, you're you're the one that's cheap. Now, wait a minute, who's cheap? He's he so is. cheap. He is. Oh, he's the one that's cheap. We have to share a TV dinner. Three. Denise. Didn't he spend so much time with us? I know, but she just comes over to visit. There's only the two of us in the house. <laughs> I don't support her. She brings money. She just doesn't spend it. Well, no points. Still no points, folks. Well, I want all of America to stop what they're doing and take a look at my husband doing his fantastic impression of what? Welcome to Monday Night Football. Oh, God. <laughs> what was that, Charlie? Very different. Oh, let me hear it again. Let me hear it again. Oh, she thought she'd do Rambo. Oh. She should have heard what I said. Hey, Charlie, we have time. Do Rambo. simple question and I would get a not so simple answer. What will your husband say is the title of the last movie you asked him to take you to that he didn't? Uh, Vera? The Poseidon Adventure. The Poseidon Adventure. Yeah, he took me to some old sex movie instead. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And tried to get my sister to go, too. He tried to get your sister to go, too? Did your sister go? No, I think she's going tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess, think well, I think it's provocative, you know, like, what well, kind of what they think, like, to be romantic, you know, because, I mean, we're just music with and stuff. And sure, he right. Oh, right. He years. said you think it's provocative to take your clothes off in the camera. Well, I do not! I don't! I don't! I have been camping with my husband in the They opened the door, and I was trying to get my clothes on, and it was in fear. Oh. No, I don't! He said it was in fear of anybody. 
What? He said he wasn't going to embarrass me. You embarrassed me. <laughs> he embarrassed me, too. I would be embarrassed, too. I was. He didn't embarrass you. He didn't embarrass you. Oh, he, he didn't? Embarrassed you. He embarrassed me. He embarrassed me. Oh. kick off the Super Bowl of love, does he spend more time tackling, fumbling, or coaching? You know what he said? He said no, fumbling, know, fumbling. You know, you always tell me I'm fumbling. You always do it. Now, why you going to sit up and say I tackle enough? You say I don't tackle enough. The reason why I say No, tackle. you say I don't tackle enough. Uh, no, tackling because oh, you, you don't know what you're doing in the first place and you get it over just like that. Is that right? Based on what I've seen and heard, the perfect title for my husband's last girlfriend would be the 1989 Miss What? Oh, let me see. Where will I go with, uh, what the heck, Frankenstein's daughter? <laughs> I have a good-looking wife. Well, I know you have a very beautiful wife. I, I, I mean, she, she looks better than my last... She's a in a minute. Matter of fact, she looks better than my last three girlfriends. Is that right? Yeah. All together, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now, she said the 1989 Miss Body, the girl was built. Now, what happened to big legs? That's all I ever heard of. Oh, yeah! Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
Well, your wife said you have or have not ever gotten romantic with two girls at the same time. What's yes, the answer? Definitely yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, you definitely yes. I used to have a fun time. <laughs> that was right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't think this was any other time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never. He no. never had. He said he had. <laughs> Who were they? Tell me about it. Who were they? You are rotten. Twice I told you. Twice? You got you got romantic with two girls at the same time? Yeah. Two or three was there? Two. 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 But I did it twice. You did it twice. And you told her? I told her all about it before I got married. She said, Oh, that's all right. You're a nice kid. Pat, do you trust me? Explicitly. Explicitly, is that it? Right. Yes. Our Good. marriage is based strictly on trust. She's gone. How come you brought her along? I, I got her out of the home. Oh, really? <laughs> Pardon me? Why Maybe you can trade her in. See, everybody else has points and you don't. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you could trade her in. Trying, trying. I said, think like I think. <laughs> when you answer the comment, then I'm gone. Yeah, I know. Then I'm going home with her. Home with her, right? <laughs> Girls, how will your husband say you would complete this sentence? My husband is a closet what? Pat? Queen? <laughs> Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? She said, my husband is a closet what? Charlie, you have no points whatsoever. That's the way I predicted it. If you get this one right, you will move into a tie for last place. <laughs> now, your wife said you are a closet what? Closet freak. Closet freak. Hang on, Charlie. She said you're a... Let me see. <laughs> What did I get you? Charlie. They embarrassed Margie, didn't we? The guys at work, do they know? Oh, this is it. This is it. We were married four months, that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, get out while you can. Think of our son. What son? <laughs> Twenty-five point bonus question. Twenty-five points, gentlemen. Is most of your money located in one bank or all spread out? Let's go first to couple number one. Charlie and Pat, you have zero. Twenty-five to give you twenty-five, and you'd zoom into first place, Charlie. <laughs> one bank. She said most of your money is located in one bank. One bank. One bank. She said your money is located in all spread out. say it's a uh, piece of turkey. <laughs> it's a fake. <laughs> it's a fake. He said, no, oh my God, it's a piece of turkey. <laughs> On the video game, some things just never turned out the way you expected. <laughs> Tell me, how many whoopee sessions did it take before you finally got your husband to say, I do? About 2,000. 2,000? <laughs> He said a hundred. <laughs> What's a whoopee session? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> we had a, uh, 
Why don't you whisper in her ear what a whooping session is? Oh, I thought it was a partier. A hundred, probably a hundred. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What's the matter? I'm a little embarrassed. Romantically speaking, which of the following gears have you been in lately? Have you been in forward, reverse, or neutral? Wait, what are you shaking your head for? Gear, man. What? All the way forward. Forward. He's in all the way neutral, man. particular episode of the newlywed game and a newlywed husband named Davy Lamb and he gave me such a run for my money that I thought you know if I would ever go on the road to do a comedy routine this is the guy that I would want as my partner that is until I found out he was a lawyer and you know about lawyers the sharks of the industry I mean this guy would have eaten me alive take a look what's the stupidest souvenir that you personally have kept from your wedding or reception Lois stupidest souvenir Oh. Oh. Hello, uh, oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> was that you snoring or her? <laughs> that was me. Oh, you were snoring. A little. We have these candy almonds. Little. Little. You kept the candy almonds? Yeah. All right. No, we didn't. No, you kept oh, the stupid flowers, he said. Oh, pressed in the oh yeah, that's right. I tried pressing the almonds Sorry. and just uh, really. <laughs> screwed, screwed the book up. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Good thing he ate all the cake. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Messy there, Bob. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gentlemen, what will your wife say is the funniest thing she's ever done in the romance department? It, it may be hard for you to believe this, Bob. Oh, really? But, uh... <laughs> well, she, uh, about a week ago, she was uh, in the El Buffo, nude, and she did a Steve Martin impersonation. <laughs> I did a Steve, what's his name? Steve Martin impression in the nude. Well, what would you sound like? Hey, I'm the just type. <laughs> All right. He, he, said, fine. he said that you did a Steve Martin in the nude, right? I'm curious, who's the boss in your family? Hell if I know. <laughs> Let me ask her. It's a toss-up. Who makes all the major decisions? What major decisions? <laughs> One or two humps for a camel. Things like that. Unfiltered. <laughs> huh. How far would you walk for a one-hump camel? Steve Martin. <laughs> Sincerely yours. Hello. <laughs> you think that means love, huh? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> half of it. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Davy Lamb. <laughs> you ate me alive! Oh, I tell you, you're a funny guy. Oh, thanks. You still funny? 
Uh, still a guy. Yeah. Still a guy. Okay. <laughs> that was 18 years ago. You was were in law one? school at that time. Well, I, I just finished law school. And I was taking the bar. In fact, uh, this month I'll be practicing law 18 years. 18 years. All right. about your law practice uh and david doesn't mind talking about his size at all but th does it does it ever get in the way i mean do you, do you have trouble because of your size with your thing of practicing not, law not really in fact it's uh, interesting situations come up i was in a jury trial about a month ago and uh, we were getting close to lunch and uh, the judge said mr lamb uh, do you have a short witness uh before lunch and i go well <laughs> judge he's taller than me yeah. <laughs> And we broke for lunch. And we broke for lunch. <laughs> uh, it's been wonderful seeing you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay out here. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's about all the time we have for our show. I want to thank you all for being here. Gosh, thanks for all of our returning in other ways. It's been so wonderful to spend this time with you. Have a chance to look back to remember all the love and all the laughter and all the special people that we shared it with. Uh, it's just been just a remarkable time for me. I love you all deeply. God bless you all. See you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on, Davey. Let's get out of here.